on the line in the Barbados Secondary Schools Football League Under 16 final. It's a buzz here at the Barbados Football Association's Wilde Turf for this, the last match. It's the Battle Royale between St. Michael's School and the boys from Richmond Gap, the St. Leonard's boys. My name is Anne Mark Goodridge Boyce, and I will be bringing you commentary alongside Roderick Gittins. I say good afternoon to him as we see the captains there at the toss. This is live coverage of the Barbados Secondary Schools Football League on the 16th final. So we have a nice crowd building on our hands. We see the teams there taking their photos as we see the toss being done. Good evening to you, Mr. Gittins. Hey, good evening all. It's and beautiful welcome. to be here at the Willie Asher Turf. Beautiful, nice breeze. You can see the students' boys. They're just there about to take those photos. Of course, St. Leonard School, one of the most successful schools at this level, both on the 16 and on the 19. So it's going to be a really keenly contested uh, game today, already on the 16 finals. St. Michael's School has been doing extremely well also for this competition. So we are just as excited as you guys on Zoom on Trident 10 TV. We are very, very thankful for Trident 10 to bring us live commentary right here, live and direct. You can see the stream, follow on Instagram. This is going to be an exciting on the 16 finals. We are looking forward to it. How about you, Anne? How are you feeling? Definitely excited to see how this game will go. If we just give the listeners and viewers the starting 11s. We start with the St. Michael School, the captain, Ethan Haynes. Michael Bryant, he wears the number one jersey. Jasper Hutchinson is number two. Akim Ali, number three. Trey Barker, number four. Kai Clark wears the number five jersey. Kai Isaac, number 12. Jamarco Johnson, the tournament goal scorer, he wears the number seven jersey. Taj Webster, number eight. Elisco Cozier, number nine. Alec Welch, number 10. And Ari Manning is the number 14. The starting 11 for St. Leonard's boys. Christian Smith in goal, he wears the number 19 jersey. Kimani Straker, number 4. Kmar Porter, number 6. Kyron Padmore, number 3. Tavion Cadogan, number 5. Christian Austin, wears the number 16 jersey. Ruben Ali, number 8. Samaj Best, number 12. Sheshon Scantabari, wears the number 10 jersey. And Brandon Babb, wears the 13. And those are the starting 11s for this, the under 16 final. This is the Barbados Secondary Schools Football League. Nice weather here at the Wilde Turf. Sunshine. Oh, yes. I was just saying just on time. The sun just peaked out right about kickoff time. You see the referee checking with his fourth official. So we are standing by for the kickoff. St. Leonard's will be having the touch first of all. Captain number nine with the armband there just waiting for the official referee to give the start of this game. We're going to be giving you the live action, play by play, and hopefully with goals. So it's a very interesting uh, final we have on our hands. If we can just look at the paths that the two teams took to reach uh, in the quarterfinal, we have St. Leonard's boys. They were the zone two winners, uh, defeating Princess Margaret six goals to nil in the semi final, and then defeating Kamamir. 2 0 in the semi final, so that 6 0 score line was in the quarter final. I beg your pardon, then the 2 0 victory over the boys from Waterford in the semi final. St. Michael's path, a different one. Uh, runners up in zone one, defeating Saint de defeating Leicester Vaughan by three goals to one uh, in their quarter final, and then defeating Dighton Griffith by three goals to nil um, in their semi final. St. Michael. So they are boasting the tournament's top goal scorer, as I mentioned before, Jamarco Johnson. He has 18 goals so far for the competition, and he is followed by his, well, St. Michael's boasting the top three goal scorers for the tournament, Ari Manning on 14. And Here he is now on the ball. That's right. Um, on 11 goals. So, yeah, it promises to be a, a crack of a match. As we see yes, Ari there Ari on the left-hand side. Can attacking. he get the cross in? Uh, it goes to the byline. and bit a bit of, of a pressure there by number six. A bit of pushing, he's weaving a bit, and the referee um, awards a free kick in favor of St. Michael. So it's going to be the first set piece of the match on two minutes. As we see the number 14, Ari Manning. Um, he will definitely be one to watch. Um, I think he represents Barbados at the under 15 level That's as correct. well. So he'll be definitely one of the main players for this St. Michael team. Of he's course, he's standing now over well. the ball. That's right, about to deliver. 
Thomas is manning. Can he get the cross in? Number see. 13, captain, just twisting and turning in the box, looking for room, being marshaled there by Kiron Padmore of St. Leonard School. We are waiting for the ref. So, Harry, Manning. Seen a high ball drifts over everyone. Collected there by the captain, number 13. The ball goes up to touch, and it's going to be a throw-in. St. Leonard's ball throwing. So a throw-in in favor of St. Leonard's. You see the player from... So the ball is given back to St. Leonard's now. See, goes back. So this is St. Leonard's boys. Uh, looking a bit to of start. a mix-up there. He's dispossessed. Can he get the cross in? The winger goes uh. out into touch, and it will be a goal kick. Um, just on three minutes, um, this is live coverage of the Barbados Secondary Schools Football League on the 16th final. In, in case you're now joining us wherever you are around the world, I'm here on Trident 10 TV. And we're happy to bring you this coverage of the creme de la creme of secondary schools football at the under 16 level here in beautiful Barbados as we see St. Leonard's boys. Yeah, it's uh, true to their the philosophy. They're building it from the back. A heavy first touch there. Manning can re Manning recover the, pos well. the possession. This is Manning. Spreads Finds the pass. It. It's a dazzling move here by the number Buddy, seven. You notice St. Leonard's there defending in a pack. There were just about four players surrounding uh, Manning there to dispossess him as well. So they clearly have a game plan here to make sure they shut down the distribution. So the free kick will be taken. It's floated up. Beautiful ball right over the top. Attacking there. A bit of an action, the shot comes in. That floats high and harmless over the bar. It's the first shot from St. Leonard's boys. That's right. I believe it's the number 12. Um, it's the match best. He's another good player to watch yeah. for the St. Leonard's boys team. Talking about St. Leonard's team, um, best is the top scorer for St. Leonard's. He has five goals. Sharp ball um, so player from the back. That's right. As the ball comes out from the back, this is... Ball ball the ball goes out. Tavian Cadogan will take this throw for St. Leonard's boys. It's whipped away by the defense from St. Michael's School. Recovered in there by number eight. It's a lovely pass. Good it's ball, good nine. turn into the boxy dart. St. Leonard's on the attack. Snuffed out. Good defending there by Trey Barker. Excellent Sorry, defending. that was that was Kaimani Stricker rather. Excellent defending there by Stricker. Uh, the number nine for St. Leonard's boys. O'Shea Mears, the captain. Excellent work. He beats his man, but unable to beat the other defender and get the ball into the box. However, St. Leonard's on the attack. They have a corner. Five minutes into the game. Corner is taken. Near post, headed out of play. Good defending there at the near post. Of course, you're told always by the coach, never let that ball meet you at the near post. So this is corner for St. Leonard's, take two. So St. Leonard's whips the ball in again. In nicely goal. floated ball, heading into the air, still danger. danger. Shot comes in, oh, just over the crossbar. Good shot there from the number 10 from St. Leonard's, that's Shea Sean Scanderbury, dangerous player. And if you're not here yet, there's still time to make your way down. We're going to have on the 19 action as well preceding this game. Right after this game, playing it out short. That's a dangerous ploy when Scandalberry's in form. St. Michael's working the ball up onto the ball. That was Manning playing it wide into space, collected by St. Leonard's. Once again, they're on the attack. So clattering tackle there from the uh, St. Michael's defender. But St. Leonard's boy. Straker turning into danger there. Manages to get himself away. Tavian Cadogan brings it out. Plays it up to the danger man, Scantabury. So Scantabury on the ball. The St. Leonard's captain tries to play the ball down the left. Yes, yeah, good covering there by Jasper Hutchinson. Stopped on his traps, but this is St. Leonard's again. Brilliant oh, good move bit in of the skill. midfield. You're seeing Kimani Stryker a lot on the ball for St. Leonard's. That's the wing back. Oh, that's a problem. Loss. St. Michael drives forward into the, into the box, but it's good covering. 
Good covering there from the last man. Had to make that tackle right. St. Michael's were, was moving into the danger area there. Hutchinson now will take this throw. Diminutive player. Moving back. Controls it. Plays it into the box. Number 18 plays it in. Shot. Cross. Oh, beautiful cross. But there was no one making the run at the far post. It would have been a relatively easy tap in. That was a good square across the face of goal. No one there to finish. Yeah. You see St. Leonard's there caught out on the defense. And it was a 2v2 situation there. And they sent Michael School unable then to capitalize on the error at the back from St. Leonard's. However, this pressure, is... Pressure on. And then turns and dribbles into his box. Brings it out. Looking for the pass. Nice ball into space. But a... Of course, the player is not going to get there wisely. Knocked out of position, out of play by Kieran Padmore of St. Leonard's. Just making sure he has time for St. Leonard's to regroup. Get set. It's a nice crowd out, uh, Anmar. What do you think about the crowd? Yeah. Looking good. Yeah, they're in the bleachers. It's a building crowd here at the Wilde Turf for this. The first of two finals. We see the fans coming out. We expect more to come as well. Some actually trickling in as we speak. Yeah, there fans we go. there in the St. Michael Cougar shirt. It's interesting to see the fans coming out and supporting the young footballers, the future stars. That's right. You see the ball is played into the box away by the St. Leonard's team. Collected by St. Hutchinson. Michael's can recover. This is St. Michael's now on the attack again. Plays the ball all the way back, and it's time to regroup and restart. It's a long ball played forward. Cut out by the St. Leonard's midfield. This is the number 10, Shea Sean Scanterbury. Plays right. the ball to the box. It's a lovely oh. pass. Intercepted Shea Sean there, there by the Manning dropping back. Wing back Hutchinson. Hutchinson there plays it out of play. It'll be a St. Leonard's throw. Number five, Tavian Cadogan comes to take that throw quickly. O'Shea Mears is off, holding up possession there, surrounded by four. St. Michael shirts. Scanderbury whips it wide. Ball intercepted. This could be a promising break. Oh, lovely St. Leonard. Good skill. St. Michael's on the That's attack. That's DeMarco. Brilliant. Plays it wide, but he's not going to find a uh, ball played out of out of touch there now for uh, St. Michael's throw. That's Alec Welch taking the throw. That one is hammered out of play. Wisely. Wisely by Tavian Cadogan. Just making sure that his boys has a chance to drop back and cover. Hutchinson now with the throw the wing back for St. Michael School. He's on the ball, plays it short to Manning. Manning twists and turns, draws three players, plays it down the flank for Alex Hutchinson. Now the play. St. Michael School keeping a, a nice high line. They're very, very close to the center circle. clear their lines. This is Scantabari plays the ball into the midfield. The ball is played again. This is St. Leonard's now on the attack. Tries to go past two defenders. It's a lovely ball. Can they keep it alive? Too close to the defense though for St. Michael's school and they can recover and start again. Yeah, that's oh that's a dangerous tussle there. The referee says no. That was Scan it looked like Scanderbury that was tripped there in the box as he was about to run onto the ball. Ref waves it off, says nope, no foul. Yeah, a bit of a coming together there by the two players. Yeah, it would have been a soft one if given. It's true, it's true. <laughs> as we see the referee on the spot and decides to wave the play on. I wouldn't tell you who was our VAR official here today. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless. The boys from Martinsdale Road will get us on our way again. Driving forward, this is the ball played in the midfield. This is Manning. What can he do? Manning surging forward, plays an excellent ball up to the left-hand side, but it's dealt with there. 
excellently read by the St. Leonard's wing back. Kieran and Padmore. Padmore, and they come again. St. Michael's now on the attack. This is a lovely game shaping up. 12 minutes on the clock. Yet to see the opening goal. This is Manning. What can he do? Manning looking to drive forward. Manning <laughs> looking to play a clever little through ball. Think oh, able to find his man. I think he would have been offside there, though. <laughs> Referee awards the ball in favor of St. Leonard's. And just about 13 minutes played here in this, the first final of the evening. In case you're now joining us, it's St. Michael's School in the blue and St. Leonard's boys in the white. This is live coverage of the Barbados Secondary School's final. In case you're now joining us here at the Wildy Turf. So the free kick. It's whipped forward. And this is the boys from St. Leonard's. It's the number 12. That's Bess. Kai Isaacs. And Isaacs. All out the trickle zone. Still in play. Yep. You can only find Manning. Manning plays the ball forward to the number 18. I believe it's Adler. St. Leonard's can come forward. Excellent defending there by number five. That's Tavion Cadogan. Can only find Manning. And the St. Leonard's boys come forward again. It's the number five. Clark plays the ball out into touch. And St. Michael's will have a throw in. I'm seeing there Mr. Mr. Messiah. Not looking particularly happy with that particular play. Given instruction from the sideline, that's Fabian Messiah, coach of the St. Leonard's boys team. And Mr. Dave Small is also very active on the bench, coach of the St. Michael School trip there. Ball just chipped out of play. Get a sense that the two teams are feeling themselves out, Anmar. Yeah, a bit of a KG start in this first encounter. Let's see. The ball goes out into touch. Yes, um, excellent point you made there. Um, yeah, both teams playing a bit cautious at the moment. I think no one wants to make that first mistake that could lead towards a goal. You know, it's a final. That's all right. This is what you know they've dreamed about for quite a while. Now is the time to make it a reality. Ball oh, handball there goes forward. This is Manning. Oh, lovely oh, bit of skill goes Trace, past one Trace there. that make one too many. <laughs> Manning is dispossessed. So Leonard's can come forward now. They move down the right hand side. So Leonard's looking to build from the back again. So they're being patient with this one. The ball trying to look for the diagonal ball cross field. And can only reach the St. Michael's school player. But here comes St. Leonard's on the attack. The true ball. Yeah, into Ooh, bit of a mix up there. Yeah, a bit of a miscommunication there. Yeah. Gittins. Keeper played it off the almost, defender. Almost led to an opportunity. Yeah, that could have ricocheted anywhere, including the back of the nets. So there's a corner now to St. Leonard's. So St. Leonard's will have a corner. And it's going to be Isaacs. He jogs over to take the set piece. Players come forward into the box. As we see Isaacs stands over the corner. Isaacs, corner. Goes oh, right out of play. And Disappointing there. Started where it ended. <laughs> it didn't come in. It didn't come onto the field at all. And bit of relief for the keeper. Yeah, for sure. After that blunder there. <laughs> he would have been happy to see that one. Yeah. Get the ball back in possession. He's on it now. And of course, SMS like to build from the back. Once again, sharp ball played. And still in their box. Your thoughts on the building from I the back? I never like that as a coach, to be honest. It's always a danger. You invite pressure high up the pitch. Of course, when you have speedy wingers, that might help. Oh, Bit of a nutmeg. nutmeg. Can't recover. Love the composure there from the wing back. Uh, yeah. The number four for St. Leonard's, I believe that's Trey Barker. Kimani Straker. Kimani Straker. Yeah. And Straker there 
didn't panic on the ball, you know, lost the possession, but was able to keep calm. Here comes St. Leonard's boys again, dispossess. And St. Michael's can come forward, excellently done there. Here comes, this is the number 10, Welch. Ooh, slip. Looking to find Manning. Excellent tackle there. Tough. St. Leonard's with the Turin. Ball play forward. Here comes St. Michael's. It's Excellent over. ball. Dealt with there by Gimani Stryker. Stryker again. He's proving to be very, very composed on the ball. You need that in a, in a defender. Yeah. The turn. We're in the number eight. Ball on the ground. Can't play that, man. Yeah. That's Taj Webster. The no, that's the number eight. That's Ruben Allen for St. Leonard's boys. Showing his skill there. Allen, he's a ball boy for the Bar in the Barbados Football Association's Premier League. <laughs> well, it's now his time to shine. It is definitely his time to shine. Tavian Cadogan about to take this free kick. Plays it short. So Cadogan plays the ball to compose. Stryker. Straker back to Cadogan. Cadogan moves away from his man. Bit of step over. Comes down the wing. It's for the number two, Xavier Marshall. Marshall with a bit of a pullback there. Referee probably didn't see that one. Awarding the throw to St. Leonard's. Still, we have a nice crowd building here. It's the cross comes in. It's dealt with. Shot comes in. No. Let's see, St. Michael's can break forward now. It's a sloppy pass. Yeah. I it's all the way back to Straker. Laying too Leonard's. heavily on young Ari Manning, I think. Always looking for him to get him involved in the play. He's, he's their playmaker. Yeah, Manning, the midfield maestro. This is Cadogan. Plays the ball over to Marshall. Marshall. Back to Aline. So here comes Manning and Johnson. Johnson, the danger man for St. Michael. This is the Welch, number, number 10, 10, Welch. Lovely bit of skill there. Lovely link up from St. Michael. And the St. Leonard's boys. Poor control there. Averting the danger. This is the number nine for, for St. Leonard's boys, Cantleberry. Dispossess a bit of ping pong going on here. <laughs> Neither team being nice able to control. have control of the possession. Gets past two. And here comes St. Leonard's down the right hand side. Outnumbered. Gets the ball away. This is Manning. What can he do? Manning. Looking to drive forward. Let's, he has options left and right. Plays the ball down the right hand flank. flank. Young Hutchinson. Hutchinson. Takes on too many. Wins the throw in. Hutchinson looking to find Manning. Manning again. Plays a loose ball there. Can only come back. St. Michael's looking to restart their attack. Excellently done there by, by Porter. Yeah, Kamar Porter bringing it out. Plays a nice ball up the flank. He won't get there. The captain Ethan Heen is doing a bit of covering. Oh, lovely bit of skill there. Ball oh, played yeah. into the box. Dealt with there by the St. Michael's defender. I believe that's the number four, Kimani Straker. Yeah. So Straker doing excellent work there. That's, that's the second time I've seen a bit of confusion there at the back. I think the keeper should really have called for that one and come and collect it comfortably. Defender opting to put it out into touch. Throw. St. Leonard's will have the opportunity. Oh. Throwing. This is Scantleberry. Can't control it. And St. Leonard's will start from the back again. This is number eight. Plays to Cadogan. Back to Marshall. Lovely link up play between the two. Good skill. St. Leonard's boys come down the flank. It's dealt with there. Aline with the header. Tries to dribble. 
and he dispossesses man in with a shirt pull in there. <laughs> but the two players, they're good teammates. Oh, missed his touch. Missed his boot as well. <laughs> well if he goes and put it back on now. Do we have a loose boot? <laughs> Very nice, nice. Nice to see the referee there recognizing. Man, I saw that shirt pull. <laughs> bit of warning. Yeah, letting him know. Cut that out. Yeah, a bit right. of warning from the referee. Next time will be a card. Yep. <laughs> Play is resumed. This is Manning. Plays the pass down the left side and it's dealt with again by the St. Leonard's defense. I think we have to give credit though to both defenses so far in this game and uh, being able to deal with the danger from the attack. Yeah, looking looking very, very composed and solid so far on both sides. And of course, both teams have good attacking intent. Number nine for St. Leonard's is. One of their danger made the captain O'Shea Mears. Very composed there. Striker. Ball, ball forward to Striker looking to find Marshall. This is Allen driving forward for St. Leonard's. Dispossess. St. Michael's can come forward again. Lovely ball oh. from Johnson, but to no man's land. Just finds real estate. Clear the lines, but St. Leonard's can come forward again. As you mentioned earlier, both teams a bit cautious in possession so far as we see Cadogan looking to play the long ball. Float over Hutchinson's head. To Marshall. This is Marshall looking to beat his man. Hutchinson there doing excellent defensive Cover, duties. Covering well. Number two versus number two. <laughs> yeah. And this is Jamarco Johnson, the danger man for St. Michaels plays the ball. Alex Welch will try to get in there. On the left side. And it's excellent defending there uh, by the number six for St. Leonard's boys. Yeah, that's Kamar Porter. Good defending. Excellent defending by Porter. Hutchinson now comes over for the throw. It's Jared King Adler gets some instruction from his coach. Is Johnson. Oh, poor touch there by young Alec Welch. Welch unable to keep the ball alive. And it goes behind for a goal kick. Uh, both keepers relatively quiet so far for the game. I think we've had one shot. St. Leonard's boys. So St. Michael's yet to have a shot in the game so far. Yeah, neither, neither keeper really tested so far. This is Bit Adler. Of a loose ball there from Alec Welch. I heard the coach telling him to just calm down. The throwing is taken. Marshall versus Hutchinson. You hear the scream of Manon from the bench. Played by Allen is dispossessed by Johnson. Johnson finds Manning. Can St. Michaels make this? Count. Manning goes past, past another man. Hammered away. And St. Leonard's boys can come forward again. The ball is played to the right hand side and is dispossessed again. Uh, nicely done. Kicked inside. Number 17, Ricario Sander for trying to influence things. Crowd appreciating that bit of skill there from Jordan Blackman. Yep. As the fans continue to make their way in to the Barbados Football Association's Woody Turf. Here are pristine conditions for the best of the best in the Barbados Secondary School's under 16 football final. Folks, you're looking at the future stars, the next generation of footballers in the island. Yes, I know St. Leonard's has that's about three or so players there on the with the under fifteen national team. O'Shea Haynes, O'Shea Sean as well as Robin, number eight. There's Ruben, Garns Aline.
Medical School, also represented at the national level. So Ari Manning, of course, is there, as well as Jamarco Johnson, the number seven. So quality in both teams. We can tell this is why they're both here in the under-16 finals. Ball is played forward by St. Leonard's. Scantlebury can't get on the end of it. Adler goes inside. Finds Manning. This is Ari Manning on the ball. In possession for St. Michael's. Appears to be waiting for the tackle. <laughs> Evades his man. Manning still oh, has it. Still beautiful going. Beautiful bit of skill. Still just runs out of room. Yeah, they're saying she was waiting for the tackle. That didn't come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, excellent work there by the defender. Um, I think he showed great um, awareness, a bit clever. You know, he saw that, you know, Manning was so he's suffering a bit, waiting, anticipating the tackle, and stood on his feet. Excellently done there by the fullback for Seth Lenners. And Seth Michaels can come forward again. This is Manning in possession. Could this be. A worthy chance for St. Michael. Not as yet. Excellent strength there shown by the St. Leonard's boys defender. That's Kieran Padmore, yep, number three. Once again. That's Padmore doing his defensive duties well. Yep. Good strength there by the big, tall central midfielder. Johnson looking to move away from his man. Appeals for the foul. Referee's having none of it. This is Ali. Ball Plays the wide. ball to Scantabury. Can Scantabury keep it alive? No, he cannot. Neat work there done by Ali in the middle of the field for St. Leonard's boys, but <laughs> Scantabury on that occasion unable to Keep the ball alive. This is Hutchinson a man down in your shot. The pitch. The man down. Looks like they might be the right back for St. Leonard's. Is that, is that Kieran Padmore, the number three? Might be him. We were just talking about this, his defensive ability there. And a bit of a tussle. With, the, with Jordan Blackman from the St. Michael School. Now he's sitting. Coach Fabian Masai is making his way across. The boys take the opportunity to take on. This is Ali. Please away to Scantabar. Can Scantabar. Defender from, from the St. Leonard School. I believe that is Kieran Padmore. Padmore, yeah. And we can understand the need for the water break. It's really hot out there on the turf with the sunshine beating down. Of course, the pressure of the game just adds to the, the feverish activity. Yep. The players now make their way back onto the field. Um, it is Padmore um, who was down with the injury. It's good to see perhaps. he's walking off on his own steam. That's always a good sign. Yeah, perhaps. Maybe a bit of cramp. Um, it may, might have stage. been a bit of a knock, perhaps. I don't see any subs warming up, so it looks as though he'll be able to continue. You see Masaya there, the coach for the St. Leonard's boys team, uh, giving some instructions to his players. Perhaps, um, you know, some guidance as we proceed in this, the first half. In case you're not joining us, yeah, and this is live coverage of the Barbados Secondary Schools on the 16th final between St. Michael's School in the blue and St. Leonard's boys wearing the white shirts and red bottoms. Hard tackle there. Samaj Bess putting a foot in. Looks like Ken Moore is all over there, making sure he's ready with the camera. <laughs> We'd expect some good shots later on. Yeah. And the 
and even though we are hugging the box and more, we can still hear the shouting of Mr. Messiah yes. giving instruction to the other side of the field. Most definitely. <laughs> That's the life of a coach. <laughs> Back, Hutchinson screaming it forward on the left side. Ball played into midfield by the number 21, Davion Clark. Go over the top. That's a bit of a danger. Small urgent in this players to apply pressure on the ball. That's that's Kiron Padmore looks fully recovered. Continue to trickle in here at the Wildy Turf. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the best of the best of Barbados, the under 16 division in terms of school football. Had a good quality competition so far. This is the climax. St. Leonard's has the possession in the midfield, bit of a back pass there. Can only find. The number 10. Nice composed player. It's Marshall. Looks like a bit of a tactical change there, Amar. I'm seeing the number two for St. Leonard's drifting, Xavier Marshall. Up to the right hand side. Yeah, he's, he's left the, the wing back position quite unoccupied. It's almost as though St. Leonard's have gone to a back three. Yeah, so that's an interesting thing to note there. Uh, keep an eye on that move. He's not drifting back over to this right side, so he might have a bit of a tweak there. It looks to me as though St. Leonard's have gone to a back three. Yeah. Push Marshall higher up into the It looks like it's going to be Porter, Cadogan, and Straker at the back. That's right. They've done ball. Nicely done. Hutchinson there. Yeah. Hutchinson. Here's the header. So you see, this is Cadogan plays the ball into the box. The heads go up. And St. Michaels can come on the attack now. This is Manning. Plays the ball. Oh, poor ball. Poor, 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 poor touch. There. This is Scantlebury unable. Manning, Manning cleans up. This is Johnson. Johnson turns away from his man. And Johnson is on his bike. Plays the ball. Belch. This is in turns. He faces his man. Can he get the crossing? Can he go to the byline? This is Welch. Oh, good Goes space skill. Man. Welch into the box. Still has it. Plays the ball to Manning. Manning back to Johnson. Johnson the on the left foot. foot. The curler. Oh, danger. First real chance for St. Michael's. Yeah. No, not a clean strike there coming in from any St. Michael's player. But the fans are clapping. They, they appreciate the... The, the scurry in the box. Yep. So we approach the half time. Just about five minutes left in this, the first half. So we're yet to see a goal. And this is the opening game of finals night. Yep. Good covering there by the captain. Fans appreciate that. Good composed play, clearing his lines. See one minute of stoppage time on the board. So you're just about right on Mari dwindling now to the end of the first half. Will we get one more chance perhaps? You see Welch there. Looking to beat his man, but this is Hutchinson. Excellently done there. As the ball is played into trying to find Manning. Can step forward again. Poor ball. It's not the best of passes. And this is Jamarco Johnson. Oh, skill. excellent skill. Takes oh, one, takes that? two. Give him back in the midfield. No, he goes wide to Alex Welch. So Welch, can he get the cross in? Welch plays the oh. cross into the oh. box to Johnson. Johnson with a chance. <laughs> ball into the box from Welch. Excellently done there by the goalkeeper for St. Leonard's boys. Christian Smith. Christian Smith, alert for the danger, as that's the f whistle for halftime. So the last bit of action there from the St. Michael's School. Uh, they cross into the box from Welch, looking to find Johnson. And the keeper, Smith, getting there in time. 
comes and collects. Johnson arriving. Welcome back to the Barbados Football Association's Worldy Turf. This is live coverage of the Barbados Football Association, the Barbados Secondary Schools Football League on the 16th final, St. Michael School versus St. Leonard's. St. Michael in the blue, St. Leonard's in the white shirts and the red bottoms. Bit of a change in the commentary box. Yours truly, Anne Margaret Boyce, now alongside Marlon Hart, uh, coach of the Commonwealth School. The boys from up and on as oh. the shot comes in. Yeah, just mishandled there by the uh, Salina keeper. Uh, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to coverage uh, with one of the young legends of Barbados football, <laughs> Anne Mar. Uh, great to be here. Lovely atmosphere as a. Uh, Michael's here with a corner. The corner. About to be taken. So referee. Um, Newsom. See something he doesn't like. Oh, that was the media. He's having a word with Looks like Ken Moore. Mr. Bino. <laughs> <laughs> and he blows the whistle to resume play corner comes in the heads go up and it's a oh, go oh, off oh. the line their chance from this at Michael school corner into the box first opportunity of the second half as it comes back in oh and the ball goes behind again so worrying signs for Whoa. St. Leonard's early on in the <laughs> yeah. second half yeah um, looking a bit nervy you know we thought both teams looked a bit nervy in the first half but uh St. Michael seemed to have settled theirs early on in the first half. Uh, St. Lenny is still uh, not handling the moment as well as they can. This is Manning. Stands over the corner. Manning whips it in. It's an excellent delivery. And it's dealt with there for the time being. And St. Lenny's boys can break. The ball is played over to Scanterbury. Scanterbury is 1v1. Oh, oh beats yes. his man. This is this a chance? Scanterbury is into the box. Is this a chance? Yes, it is. Oh, no, stop the off right. Oh my! What a chance for these Atlantis boys here. What an opportunity! <laughs> Scanterbury saved by the goalpost. They said Michael's goalkeeper enter end stuff as Manning comes forward, plays the ball forward to Johnson. Johnson back to Manning. Manning with the shot straight at the keeper. So. Wow. Whoa. An excellent start to this second half. We're yeah. on our feet in the commentary box. <laughs> so are the fans in the stands. Yeah, well, we, we asked for action after the first half, and we've got it already. Yeah, I think this makes up for the first half already. Yeah. What a chance it was, though. The number nine for St. Leonard's boy, uh, Mears, it was the captain. Instead of Scanterbury, it was Mears darting into the box. The chance 1v1 with the keeper Smith. Yeah, he's the easy up front man for the uh, Barbados under 14s uh, that made the trip. You know, you've expected him to put that one away. He's, he's that quality of a player. A golden chance for Mears, the captain, the golden opportunity to lead from the front and unable to convert. And that occasion was a gift. 1v1 with Hutchinson. Oh. And I'm not sure he'll get much of those opportunities, Hart. Yeah, you won, you won. <laughs> not in this game. Uh, looks like a player down there. That's number 10. Uh, it's Canterbury, Sheshawn. Um, looks to be in a bit of pain. But but O'Shea, you know, um, I've seen him before. I know the quality of the player. He's been looking to the heavens, asking for another one. But I don't think they will come as easy as that one. Um, like I said, he has the quality. We would have expected him to put that one away. 39 minutes. So, so two big moments for both teams. Yeah, we hit the up right now on on both occasions, uh, on both sides of the field. Sorry, so so both teams can can feel unlucky 
uh, at the moment, but uh, the game's starting to open up a bit. Pressure being applied by both sides. So it looks like a, a drop ball here. Manning. Looking ball. to drive forward. Looking to play the ball out to the number 17, I believe. That's Jordan Blackman. Yeah. Jordan Blackman. You get the feeling that you know anything good for the St. Michael School will come through uh, Ari Manning or the youngster JJ, uh, Jamario Johnson. They're really leading in terms of performances here today. Yeah, he's the leading goal scorer for the tournament. Johnson on 18 goals so far for the league. Wow, that's an impressive CV. But here comes St. Michael. Can't get the ball back into Manning, and the ball goes out into touch, and it's going to be a throw in for the St. Michael School, the number five, Kai Clark. We'll so take the throw in back to the captain, Ethan Haynes. And this is Haynes for the St. Michael School. Plays the ball over to Hutchinson. Hutchinson back into the midfield. Johnson trying yeah, to body shit his man. That's a late fouled in the process. There. Yeah, that's Ruben from the St. Leonard sending a message there to, to the young Johnson. You know, no free turns in the middle. Tough tackle by, by Ruben there. So another opportunity from a set piece. St. Leonard, despite they're the bigger players, they look to not be handling these set pieces well. So ball played in. A lovely oh, free kick. A, just a bit over hit there. But nervy to settle in the uh, St. Leonard's defense. Yeah. They really look out of character in their defending today. Uh, we spoke to the coach earlier. Um, he mentioned that there are a couple of players missing from today's final. And he made a, a change at, at the half. We have now number 15 for them, Zidane Alain, in that centre back. So I guess he recognizes what we recognize here in the commentary box. Man in his foul there in a dangerous position. Uh, that's Ruben again. He'll be penalized this time. It's the first yellow card of the match. And it goes to Ruben Alain. Yeah, so since Salana seems to be rocking a bit. Bit, <laughs> of a, bit of a cynical pole as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he understood the danger that was at play in that moment. As we see the replay there, Manning looking to move forward. and yeah, Just not giving the freedom to play, right? We can't allow him to play. Yeah, that Manning's had to be the message. The challenge from behind is always going to be a yellow card. Always. All right, as Manning stands over the free kick. And that one oh. is <laughs> dealt with by the keeper. A bit of a spill but easily collects in the end. Ball is into the midfield. Manning. Wow. <laughs> He's frustrated <laughs> with that one, Harry Manning. Can't believe the referee's given it. And this is Manning in possession. He's Tackle again there by Allen. A bit of a battle going on in the midfield between Manning and Allen. Seems to be reflective of the game as a whole. <laughs> uh, Selena's is on the, on the back foot, but trying to punch their way out. Um, it's another substitution we're going to see. Um, so the number 17, oh, for St. Leonard's, I believe that's Rakaira Sandiford. Mm -hmm. And in is going to be the number 14, um, Jamario Yard. So the coach, Fabian Messiah, um, definitely not happy with what he's seeing out on the pitch. Yeah. And has decided to make a couple of changes. His second so far of the match. A uh, bit of a change in the formation in the first half. Uh, it appears he went to about three, mm -hmm. um, which mm -hmm. is very interesting. And he's made a couple of uh, substitutions again. This is Johnson. Plays the ball over to Hutchinson. Hutchinson looks to come forward. Stop in his traps with the, the pass. This is Mears looking to get onto the end of it. And this is Canterbury. Can he find Mears? It's a lovely ball. Over to the left-hand side. Can St. Leonard's make it count? Looking to, to, to shift away from his man, and it's an excellent tackle there for Hutchinson. Brings the crowd to their feet, Hart, and he had to get that one right, and he did just that. Yeah, the, the youngster, Barker, he's been good all season for the St. Michael School. Very strong. I've also heard he's only in second form. Could you believe it? Yeah. And up against some third and fourth formers in this competition, you know, he's really handling himself well. Ball played in. Uh -oh. Some trouble for Senel, but cleared by by the captain Eaton. Shot from the distance. 
but nobody challenged or harmed by that shot. Yeah, Quite always, tame, isn't it? He was always leaning back, um, <laughs> Ruben Allen, on that one. Hard to get it, stayed down, and then on target. So would you say a bit desperation in the shot, hoping that something happens? Yeah, we're seeing a couple of shots from distance um, now. Um, definitely signs that both teams, it's, it's, it's a bit nervy <laughs> going on out there at yeah, the moment. Definitely. I'm um, hard. As yeah. we see the ball played up the back from St. Le some St. Michael's. You can only find Cadogan. And this is that one. I think you could have found the pass instead of going for the dribble. But a battle on here at the Wilder, at Wilder Astro Turf. Like two schools wanting to, to stay the claim in this game. It's pretty even, would you say? Yeah, most definitely. Um, neither team, you know, wanting to, to make that one mistake that could cost them in contact at this stage as we see the throw in this is yard looks to come up the field and it's dealt with there by Haynes um, excellent defending there by Haynes the sure a lot of maturity there yeah, um, shepherding the ball out um, you know when it comes to these big fixtures you know the, the margin for error slim very very slim you know the team that makes the least amount of mistakes usually uh, are the winners this is yard for St. Leonard's and it seems to be a, a free kick it's a full it's throw, a, is it? It's a full throw. Yeah, it's a full throw. Yeah, well. expect that at this age group. Um, boys still learning the game. Ball played in. The chart whipped in by the number five from the St. Andrews School. It's dangerous. A lot of bumbling. Looking to protect here. So now he's going long again. And again, that man Barker again. And this is Michael School. This is Marshall in possession. Plays the ball back to Cadogan. Cadogan plays the ball Ooh. out to the right hand side. This is Yard. Yard with the shot in. It's That's Yard. A substitute. Well That's an excellent goal. Jamario Yard brought on as a substitution. Yard. Beautiful stuff. I think he's only been on the field for about five minutes. Yeah, boy. What a move there. The ball played out to the right hand side. Yard sniffed the opportunity and he gives St. Leonard's a 1 0 lead. Yeah. So goes it's to the, the coach, boys man. from Richmond Gap taking the lead. We see the replay here. Ball played over. This is Ruben Allen. Dribbles away from danger. Allen to Cadogan. A Duggan to Cadogan with a lovely ball over to Yard. Into the box. He's on Mark Yard. Takes the shot. Keep it off the line. And it's an excellent finish at the far post. Jamarion Yard only on the field for about five minutes. Yeah. Definitely a super substitution yeah. by Fabian Messiah. I think that the experience of the coach showed off there. I think he recognized what was happening. Uh, it's fair to say that St. Michael's had a lot of the early running in the second half, but the coach implemented a change. The youngster seeing the keeper off his line um, and really asking a lot of him to save that one. Beautiful shot. Now this game, uh, St. Michael's needs to come out the hole a bit now and take more chances. They're down by one in a, in a final. So, I think a substitution for St. Michael's school. They await the confirmation on the substitution. And the ball is played for. This is Yard, the goal scorer. Beats his man again. This is Scantabury. And away by Haynes. In case you're now joining us, St. Leonard's boys with the lead compliments the boot of Jamario Yard as man in his fold there by Cadogan. Yeah, Cadogan being asked up. to do a job here, uh, step up in the midfield and stop those target men, th those key men for the St. Michael School. I think he's been doing well. The move to put him centrally. That midfield has, has really shifted the, the dynamics of this game, the momentum of this game. Um, and now St. Leonard's take the lead. See Kai Clark all the way back to Haynes. The ball is played over to Hutchinson. Hutchinson comes forward for St. Michael's, drives into the opponent's half. Hutchinson Beautiful plays a ball. lovely ball. This is lovely football. And is intercepted there by St. Leonard's who can break. Good, good turn again. Ruben in possession there for St. Leonard's, but losing it out there. It's a good covering tackle. 
KG battle on the line. Long ball. Yeah, no, so that all of that early excitement, you yep. know, <laughs> uh, seemed to benefit St. Leonard's. They handled their moments, uh, their negative moments well, and they were able to take their opportunity, their second major opportunity. So, you know, again, we talked about margins in football, and, and it went to show again, ball played through to the St. Leonard's player and cleared by the captain from the St. Michael's School, Ethan. Ethan Haynes. The captain for St. Michael's. He's a national skipper as well. So, he'll be definitely hoping that his team can get back into this game. So, what do you think would be the plan now for the, the St. Michael's school? How do they approach the next uh, 15, 20 minutes of this game? Well, they have to score now. That's the first thing. Um, I think the game plan will be to, you know, get the ball into. Manning and Johnson, the their two top goal scorers. I think if anything's gonna happen, those team two men will have to be at the center of all things good for the St. Michael school as Yard comes forward again for St. Leonard's Yard. And the ball goes out of touch. Yeah. And and for the uh, St. Leonard's school, you know they say that one love lead isn't a lead at all. So what needs to be planned here? Yeah, for in terms of set learners, they'll be looking to get another one and double their advantage. Ooh. The chance comes away. And this is Manning plays the loose ball. The shot comes in. And it ricochets off the defender. Yeah, goes yeah, all the way out into touch. And the St. Leonard's Ooh. boys will keep the possession as we see the coach of St. Michael's school, Mr. Dave Small, in our shot. And uh, perhaps. Uh, not a happy man at this stage. His team came out. Um, the better team in the early part of the second half. But it's the St. Leonard's yeah. Boys School who have the lead here um, on the evening in this the under-16 final of the Barbados Secondary Schools Football League. And this is Yard, the goal scorer. Lovely ball played into the box, controlling chest, which on a shot, beautiful stuff there by the youngster Mears. Ball played in over the top. Control and test. Uh, they hit on the half volley and saved by the keeper. This is Cadogan for St. Leonard's boys. Steps away from a couple of challenges. Plays the ball up to the left hand side. Excellent there by the winger, the number 12. Uh, I believe that's. Yeah, it was a, a foul, wasn't it? Um, best is fouled. And it's going to be Ruben Allen to take the free kick. He has the ball in his hand. Allen. Okay. There is the referee. benefits again of uh, experienced coaching, right? To recognize the, the faults in your game and try to make moves to, to fix it, right? Um, yep. Seems to pay it off for St. Leonard's. Um, since that goal, we haven't seen the likes of Jamario Johnson or young Ari. So this is Allen. The ball. Oh, it's a lovely shot. shot. Beautiful. And it's 2 0. Wow. What a free kick by Ruben Allen! St. Leonard's 2, St. Michael's 0. No. Excellent free kick by Ruben Allen. We thought he would have crossed it into the box. Yep. Decides to go for goal. Caught the keeper out. And it's the boys for Richmond Gap. <laughs> 2 to the good in this day on the 16th final. It seems to be a card here for, for What Arimani. a free kick. It's a stunning free kick by Allen. If we can see the replay here. And they wheel the way in celebration. St. Leonard's 2. St. Michael's 0. What a free kick, Hart. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, the youngster, Ruben, a lot of pedigree, a lot of class. All game. You see him in the battle against... Uh, and St. Leonard's can come again. Opposite, opportunity to break here, ball play through. To Mears. Can he get the shot away? A tackle. Yeah, that's definitely not a penalty. That was a very good covering tackle. But again, that youngster, I keep bringing up his name, Trim Barker. Been good all season uh, for the St. Michael School. And a good uh, last ditch tackle there to, to make sure that the ball goes out as opposed to in his own net. And, you know, St. Michael's still showing some fight. You've seen it there in the, uh, the tackle by the, by the youngster. 
But what St. Michael's can't do here is panic, you know, and, and realize that there's still opportunity for them to get in the game. See, corner. It's going to be taken by Bess. Bess plays it short. Back to Ali. Ali with another free kick. <laughs> looking shot. <laughs> Not a free kick. Free <laughs> kick looking shot. <laughs> yeah, he, um, again, has a bit of confidence there, I'm sure, yeah. from the young man. Just scored a free kick, so why not have a crack again? Yeah, why not? But, but the, the leaders of the St. Michael School in the range have come to the party now. Um, we haven't called a name much in the last 10 minutes. Um, and you yeah, see the mistakes starting to creep in. From Ethan Haynes. Yeah, right through the middle there. Loads of experience there for, for not only his club but and school, but country. We need to call on that experience, keep the cool, and, and make a game of this one. It's not all over yet. St. Uh, Michael's can come forward again. Really strong defending there by the number six. Porter. JJ on the ball again. Dispossessed there. Yeah, every time Johnson. he gets on the ball, right? Yeah, he's been sh completely shut out so far. But St. Michael's can come forward. That's Ball Barker. over to the right hand side. Can't keep it alive. Goes out into touch and it will be. The ball will go for the St. Michael's school it looks like. So they will keep possession. I think there needs to be some some change to the approach. I think uh, St. Leonard's did well in snuffing out um, the midfield battle. They definitely dominate the middle of the field, but uh, no changes yet. I mean, that central in area for uh, the St. Michael's School, no rotations in play. This little one looks to go at goal and collected by uh, the keeper, Smith. Yeah. So, so I would like to see, you know, a change in formation, uh, another additional striker brought on, something that helps the St. Michael's give us you know, something different. You see yard there, a muscle. The coach Dave Small giving some instructions to his players. As St. Leonard's come forward. This is Yard. First goal scorer for St. Leonard's. St. Michael's can't clear their lines. The reverse ball play to Yard goes out to touch. Yeah. And just about 58 minutes on the clock in case you're now joining us. Uh, this is live coverage of the Barbados Secondary Schools Football League. On the 16th final, I sent Leonard's boys leading St. Michael's School two goals to nil. As you see, a substitution for the St. Michael's School. It's going to be eight, number 18 coming out. I believe that's Jair Adler and number 15 coming in, Taekwon Bruce. Yeah, so, so uh, Adler out, Bruce in. Yeah. So I think you might be reading the coach's notes. <laughs> Part, so, yeah. A coach himself. Um, what well you would notice too that two of the goals they came from way outside the box, right? And at this age group, we know that you know keepers struggle with shots from distance. Yeah. So that has to be a tactic whenever you're discussing how you're gonna approach games at this level. Because they they handle well, but the shots from distance always give challenges, and this is a across the world. But the youngster Ari Manning needs to, to step up and offer. Yeah. Very capable of that, I must say. You see, a little swagger being brought into the game for the uh, Selena schools. I yep. think they, you know, they're very comfortable at this moment. Uh, kudos to their number five. Um, that's Kadugan. Yeah, Kadugan playing been, from the midfield. He's been rock solid yeah. as well. Tackling again. Anything to break up the momentum of plays between the two, uh, Ari Manning and to Mario Johnson, you see, will be helpful to the St. Leonard's. So, really good uh, move, uh, whether deliberate uh, by the coach <laughs> or instinctual by the player. You yeah. know, I think it's worked for the shift in momentum in the game. He stands over the free kick just on the center circle, plays it long, and there are no tickers. Hutchinson trying to get the ball forward. And Michael, this could be a meaningful attack. This is Johnson. Can he get the shot away? Johnson with the shot. 
And it's saved there by Smith. <laughs> Bit of a half chance <laughs> for a, Johnson. Yeah, good aggressive defending there by uh, Potter. You know, really, really looking forward to the challenge there from 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 Johnson. It's a bit of off balance in there though, Johnson as well. Um, not being able to strike the ball cleanly, perhaps that would have impacted. Mm -hmm. So it looks like a, a tactical change as we discussed last like, uh, the, the centre back Barker steps up into into midfield, and Jamario Johnson now goes to striker for the St. Michael School. So um, I I agree I agree with the change. I, I think it's going to help because you know he's going to offer something different to the to the back four or back three of the Salinas. You see here you see him here on the ball. Ball goes out of play. That's a goal kick for the Salinas School. So Salinas just need to be patient here and take the time. Um, allow themselves to set up from, from the dead ball uh, make sure that they're in total control of this game cut out the mistakes and it's going to be all well for them yeah most definitely Smith takes the goal kick gets good distance on it and it's a lovely tackle there from oh, Hutchinson nice. and the ball comes forward this is set Michael now they need a goal a heart where will it come from as what? they come forward ball over on the right hand side and it's another weary pass mm. can only find the defense of St. Leonard's but ball over the top to get the ball again easily dealt with there by the St. Leonard's center half but here comes Scanterbury into a 50-50 comes out the better man plays the ball down the left hand side St. Leonard's, there are two goals to the good. And it's a lovely cross field ball. The number 15 man, though, uh, Zidane Allen, can't get the ball under control. But this is Ari Manning. Manning plays an excellent ball. Beautiful. Space ahead. Plays the ball back into the box. Is this a chance? I think that's a penalty. It's a penalty. Newsome points to the spot. Definitely a penalty. And, and, and a chance for this uh, Michael School. To half the deficit from the penalty spot. Player there brought down. And the referee Newsom immediately pointing to the spot. He was spot on in the perfect position to award the penalty. A lifeline for the boys from Martinsdale Road. And it's going to be Ari Manning to step up. Now, now this highlights why you need to be brave in, in, in finals and big moments. You know, They took the chance to put uh, Jamario Johnson up at uh, the striker's position from midfield and it has uh, paid off definitely has so 63 minutes on the clock ladies and gentlemen it's Manning versus Smith can he convert Manning oh. slots it home That's Smith's beating up the surface it's a lifeline for the boys Ooh. from Martinsdale Road they have one back, and it's <laughs> Ari Manning from the penalty spot. Beautiful stuff. Great composure from Ari. We know that he's one of the leaders of the team in terms of his play. But uh, in those big moments, you know, a penalty in the, in the final, it takes a lot of courage to step up and, and take that one. I see many a player missing finals, but Ari very up, for the, up to the task. So game on. Yeah. Lovely penalty there from Ari Manning. The keeper Smith went the right way. Enough accuracy on the shot from 12 yards for Ari Manning. And the crowd now on their feet. They're screaming. Hart, as we saw that penalty, oh. appears to have brought Ari the Manning on the ball again. It's Manning on the ball again. Beats one, Manning. Beats two. Plays it wide. A beautiful defending there by Straker. Clears the ball now. Danger averted. And clear. Sinan is in possession. So, so the number of factors you have to consider, but two main factors in these type of moments. You have to manage the clock, and you have to manage your emotions as players, right? You are, as a coach as well, you have to look at, you know, cutting out your mistakes, encouraging your players, and, and keeping them focused on the task at hand. Opportunity here. But, but again, you, you saw a momentum shift from... Uh, the St. Michael's School to the St. Leonard's School, sending them up two, and now there's a shift again. And I think that came from the fact that you now you have Trey Barker stepping up in midfield 
and, and doing a lot of that challenging and, and winning balls in the midfield for, for St. Michael's. I think that, that change in itself would have led to the opportunities that Jamario Johnson would have um, afforded himself with the penalty. Yep. So we see the value of, of good coaching being displayed here today. Um, uh, at this beautiful night, you see the, the stands just about full, both of them. I think a lot more people will be joining us for the, the under 19 final that follows. But this is a really beautiful moment to, to share here on, on Trident TV. Most definitely, as we see, the corner will be taken by the number 12, Bess, for St. Leonard. So it's Bess, the corner into the box, headed Ooh. away there by the St. Michael's defender. And Bess will have another opportunity to whip in the ball from the far side. Uh, 66 minutes on the clock. St. Leonard's boys lead... Uh, Compliments Ruben Allen and Yard, Jamario Yard, and then St. Michael's will go back from the penalty spot by Ari Manning. This is best. The corner taken into the box. The heads go up, and it seems like a half chance, but this is Yard. Shields the ball away, and St. Leonard's will have a throw in. Yeah, it's beautiful time ticks maturity on. by the young man, understanding the moment in the game, understanding that time is your friend. If you're a uh, supporter of the St. Leonard School, uh, ball thrown in here, played into the box, kind of half clearance from the uh, St. Michael School. Who need to do all the chasing? They need to win every ball back. They need to be very deliberate in trying to get something from this game here. Just about four minutes on the clock, and St. Michael's still in here with a chance. Is it too early to, to, to look at our player of the match? Uh, so I think we've had a oh, lovely by turn. Johnson. Turns away from his man. Has to be a foul. Keeps the possession. And is fouled there by Cadogan. Bit of a cynical foul there from <laughs> Cadogan. A very yeah, excellent one. He had to in that situation. You don't want him to turn and get away 1v1. He's a dangerous player, isn't he? So, so who will be your player of the match? Yeah, so in my opinion... Um, the substitute mm. Yard has mm. come on and really changed the game Ruben Allen also has been good um, those are two players for the St. Leonard's boys um, Cadogan as well you know marching in the midfield and the defence um, if you look at the St. Michael school um, Johnson and Manning obviously with the goal from the penalty spot Yeah. Uh, then the youngster on the ball here Hutchinson has yeah. also been good number 4 for uh, the St. Michael school plays that one in oh it beats the defender is this a chance oh, and it's oh a corner God. The, the, for St. Leonard's the fans are bouncing the fans are screaming we have a, a section of the St. Leonard's boys here St. Leonard's uh, team who seem to be biting their nails here another section in the crowd of the St. Michael school jumping and hoping for an opportunity coach Messiah Shouting some instruction there to his players. This is going to be a real nail-biter. The corner. Oh. Taken quickly. Oh, it seems to be a foul. Foul on the player. The referee pointing and gesturing. Letting them know that he's the boss. He's the man in control. Yep. Newsome. <laughs> yeah. Very strong official, isn't he? Need to manage these moments, St. Leonard's. You need to manage these, these moments. We just got, about, I would say, a minute plus to uh, extra time. They brought on additional striker and some rotation. Yeah, it's got word as uh, two minutes extra time. That seemed to be a handball missed by the official there. Time and space. Ball played. Oh, that looks like a opportunity here. We got Mears. Ball played through. Is this one the v one? Flick to it. What's it called? What's it called, buddy? It's offside. It's offside there. Yeah. All for nothing there. All right, getting a bit excited. <laughs> Thought it was a genuine chance Wait. for St. Leonard's boys. Definitely that. If if it was a chance and the ball had gone into the back of the net, definitely would have been one to take the win out of the seals for St. Michael's. Nevertheless, oh. the score remains St. Leonard's boys two, St. Michael's one. We enter the final minute of regular time. Manning on the ball. 
score from the penalty spot. Can he produce another moment of magic to send this game into extra time? I would say that in these moments, you know, um, St. Michael's still trying to stick to their game plan and playing it short from the back. But you got to look at distances. you got to look at getting the ball forward into opposition half and to dangerous parts of the field. Uh, maybe they need to go away from uh, the short passing route. Maybe they need to go a little more direct. Yeah, and, that, and that was the tactic that we see employed from, from St. Leonard's when, when it was dangerous for them, just going direct. And that afforded them the opportunity for, for young mares. As we see the, uh, the extra time go up, three minutes extra time. Good three tackling, added yeah. minutes. You have O'Shea Mears tackled again by Barker. Barker is everywhere for St. Michael School. The ball is played for. This is Johnson. Plays the ball back over to the flank. Being urged to whip it in. Played in. Ball is played into the box. The heads go up. And a clearance again by Simenez. Is this an opportunity here? Let's see. Number seven comes away with it. Yard is begging for it on the far side. Goes past his man. Excellent defending there from the St. Michaels. Ooh. Wing back. And it's going to be a, a free kick. Is it a free kick or a throw in? Yeah, definitely a free kick. Uh, Ethan going through the back of the opposition player there. Uh... Was it necessary? He's going away from goal. He won't hurt you. Uh, gives you more time to, to organize. Um, and now we see Sinners will take their time with this set piece. Allow their players to stay in position. They have five men back on the half line. Not taking any chances. <laughs> Just looking to see this one out. Still haven't taken their free kick as yet as well. So, um, you know, we, we got to look at this, these little moments. So the ball. Play forward. St. Michael's desperately need the possession. Lovely <laughs> bit of skill there. The shot comes in from Aline and it goes behind. They need the urgency here. St. Michael's. Yeah. One minute and 30 seconds on the clock. I wonder if they're going to go short again from the back. I think they need to be a little bit more direct. If they go short, you know, again, they go short. This is Haynes. We got a minute left on the game. We need to be direct. We need to get it up upfield. But they persist when they're playing out the back. It seems to beat the first line of the opposition now. Into midfield now. Good tackling back. This St. Michael's in possession. Plays the ball forward. St. Michael's, it's now or never. This is Manning. Manning looking to move away from his man. We have seconds left in this game. They need to get the ball forward here, St. Michael's. The ball played back into Manning. He can't control. Ball is played over. Lovely bit of play there. Cleared. The cleared one time well. pass. Can't find the players. St. Michael's desperately need looking for the goal that will send this game into extra time. Ball is played forward for St. Leonard's. This is Yard. Ball played out. And the ball is played out. And I believe that could be that. Seconds left in this one. As the referee gives mirrors, it looks like a yellow card. Yeah. yeah. Into added time, in added time. Yeah, time is still in his friends here. A really good half, isn't it, Amar? Shot comes in. Is this the chance? Ooh. St. Leonard's with a golden opportunity to add another one. And it goes out into touch. And I believe her. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> the fat lady is about to sing. She's gargling. Referee has the whistle. And St. Leonard's have done it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful game. Yeah, really even in the first half. But it opened up in the second Celebrations are in order. Well, it's the boys from Richmond Gap once again. Once again, they are the titans of school football league in Barbados. Yet again, St. Leonard's boys on top of school football in Barbados. Fabian Messiah yet again leads the boys from Richmond Gap. 
to another Barbados Secondary School Football League title. They run over to their fans. It's heartbreak for St. Michael's School. And now Remani, he pulls his shirt over his face. A sad moment. Sorrow for St. Michael. Jubilation for St. Leonard's boys. They are the champions of the 2023 Barbados Secondary School Football League Under-16 Final. Goals, compliments, Ruben Allen and Jamario Yard, the second half substitute. Uh, Ari Manning pulled one back for St. Michael, but it wasn't enough. And the boys from Richmond Gap march on to yet another title in schools football in Barbados. So we take a commercial break and when we come back perhaps some words from the winning coach. <laughs> 